Some answers tonight about the death of a 16-year-old girl in Hopkinton last month that one activist group was calling a murder. The district attorney holding a news conference today giving some details while pushing back against social media claims of a cover-up. Five Investigates' Karen Anderson is live in Hopkinton right now. Karen? District Attorney Marion Ryan says her office is still actively investigating the death of Michaela Miller, and she says that police and, invest and investigators have been on the case since day one. This despite online claims that have gone viral. Michaela's death is an unspeakable tragedy. Middlesex County DA Marion Ryan calling the death last month of 16 year old Michaela Miller tragic. Miller, a student and athlete at Hopkinton High School, was found dead the morning of April 18th. Her family had taken to social media saying she was ambushed the day before and found hours later tied to a tree. Concerns over Miller's death have gone viral on social media following posts from the group Violence in Boston. One post says Miller was murdered and it's a cover up. Regarding the notion that this office has in some way neglected Michaela's case, or worse, so much worse, is engaged in some sort of cover up is patently false. The DA provided a timeline of the hours before Miller's death. After five o'clock on Saturday the 17th, there was an encounter in the clubhouse at Michaela's apartment complex involving her and four other teens. Her mother called police after 7 p.m. Officers noticed Michaela had a bloody lip and she told them she'd been pushed and punched. After nine o'clock, a fitness tracker in Michaela's phone shows she left her building. That phone indicated that between 9 and 10 p.m. on Saturday night, the phone traveled a distance of 1,316 steps. That distance of 1,316 steps is approximately the distance between Michaela's home in the place where her body would subsequently be located. Her body discovered hanging in a tree by a jogger at around 7 a.m. on Sunday. Using cell phone, Simple surveillance point, video, and easy pass data, the DA the says they confirmed the four really teens happened. involved in the altercation Losing were not in the area. Michaela's phone was found on her. Her backpack was nearby. Investigators are now awaiting forensic testing and the medical examiner's report on the cause of Michaela's death. We know that everyone would like to have the answers as to what happened with Michaela. We know it is difficult to wait for those answers. Now, a vigil planned by the group um, Violence in Boston is set for Thursday at the Marathon starting line here in Hopkinton. Now, the Hopkinton Select Board is holding an emergency meeting right now regarding that event. Michaela's mother told us earlier today she is planning to speak that evening at the vigil. Live in Hopkinton, Karen Anderson, Five Investigates.